The recent attack on the Indian Air Force base station in Jammu has sparked a new debate. This is the very first time that drones have been used in order to carry out an attack on the Indian soil. Hello everybody and I am Dikshan Sharma. In this particular video, I'm going to touch upon this exact incident that has happened recently. We are also going to discuss a few important points. What exactly are drones? What are the popular uses of drones? What is the Indian strategy? How can India counter such incidents in future? What is the plan? Is India actually battle ready? All of this we are going to discuss in this particular video. So please make sure that you watch this video till the end. So to begin, let us understand what exactly are drones. What are the different types of drones that exist in the market? What are the typical ranges in which they can operate and the common uses? So drone is essentially nothing but an unmanned aerial vehicle. So it is nothing but an unmanned aerial vehicle, which is essentially an aircraft which is unpiloted and can be controlled by anybody having a remote sitting in one place and can control this entire aircraft in a specific range. So the concept of drones is not very new. The earliest drones appeared in the 1900s. So almost a century is almost you know, passed and they have evolved over time. Now, definitely they are going, they are getting better and better with the advancement in the technology. They are getting better and better. The controls are getting better. The ranges are getting you know, better. So what are the different types of drones which exist? There can be multi-rotor drones. There can also be fixed rotor drones, right? So fixed wing drones can also exist and multi-rotor drones can exist. For example, a quadcopter can have four rotors. A hexacopter can have six rotors. An octocopter can have eight rotors. So depending on the application, different kind of drones can exist. Fixed wing rotors or fixed wing drones are basically, uh, you know, some uh, drones which look exactly like the airplanes that are, that are there today. For example, a drone would look like an uh, Airbus A380 or a Boeing 787, something like that, right? Similarly, like the old airplanes. What are the typical ranges in which they can operate? Depends on the kind of application, depends on the kind of technology that you are using. There can be close range UAVs, there can be mid range, long range and the longest range UAVs can operate in a distance of more than 600 kilometers. So for example, somebody sitting in particular in, in a particular spot can go across 600 kilometers and can do whatever he wants in that particular area. So this is why this particular technology, which is a great in innovation, which is a great technology can also be a very big problem. There are few reasons why drones can be very much, you know, uh, destructive as well. First reason is since the size of these drones is, is very small. So it is practically very difficult for a radar to, you know, uh, identify or to detect this particular device. Second point, they can fly very close to the, you know, land. So that means if you can, if you want to plan to have a missile system, it will essentially not work since they are very close to the ground, right? So there are big problems which are associated with drones, but the common uses uh, currently a lot of companies are using prototypes. A lot of people are using drones. For example, I talked about, you know, people uh, using drones for videography. There are people who are using drones for uh, medicines, for delivery of medicines. Uh, you know, companies are using it for 3D mapping. People are using, countries are using it for military operations. Companies like Amazon in USA, they are trying to deliver their products with the help of drones, you know. So a lot of people are now starting to use drones, which can be a bigger problem. So if a country wants to allow the use of usage of drones, there has to be a specific policy. There have to be a certain norms which have to be fulfilled. So uh, if suppose anybody and everybody is allowed to operate drones and everybody can use them anywhere they want. So people who have, you know, different kind of ideology and they want to harm somebody, they can also use this particular technology. And that is where the problems can arise. The recent attack that happened in Jammu, let us talk about the newspaper headlines. What exactly was in the headlines? It was mentioned that drones were used to drop bombs on the IEF base station, Air Force Station base in Jammu. And since drones were used, that is the reason it is the first of its kind attack that has happened in India. This particular incident could not damage, uh, you know, any equipment. Definitely uh, the good part is that nobody lost their life, but two personals were injured in the twin blasts. Immediately after this particular uh, incident happened, the Jammu and Kashmir police 
uh, the other departments started rushing in and started investigating the case, but the government decided that this particular investigation should be carried out by the apex agency, which is the NIA, National Investigation Agency. And after this particular attack happened, the top army officer also said that drones are not something which can be made on roads and definitely this points to the role of a state which might be backing this particular attack. So a definite hint on the involvement of Pakistan and also some newspapers or some agencies claimed that there would be some kind of involvement of Lakshare, Lashkare Taiba. So people are saying that Lashkare Taiba might be involved in this particular incident. Since recently there was an attack which happened in Lahore near the house of the founder of the lashkar e taiba which is muhammad hafiz said so there can be some kind of retaliation there could be this incident could be a retaliation to that as well so they these are just the claims that several agencies are making there is nothing foolproof here so uh, after this particular attack happened the uh, you know the people started talking about the technology which is is in place in india what is drdo doing what do they have any kind of technology in place? There is there an indigenous technology which India is working on? If there is not an indigenous technology which is already in place, how can India get in touch with Israel? US military special forces have already procured this particular technology from Israel. And people are saying that even India should go ahead and buy out a particular technology which can counter these type of incidents. It is not that the very this is talked about for the very first time. Indian Navy has already procured a system which are which we are going to talk about going ahead. Let us first understand this particular incident that has happened on the 27th of June. What exactly was the timeline? What exactly happened after each incident? So on 27th of June, during very close to the midnight, around 1:37 a.m. exact time. 1.37 a.m. the first explosion went out and this exploded near to a helicopter hangar this particular area there this 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 was the area where the explosion took place and thankfully there was no damage to any kind of equipment the first explosion went out at 1.37 a.m. and the second explosion happened close to 1.42 a.m. so within a gap of five minutes two explosions back to back happened and immediately the bomb disposal squad came there forensics departments ieaf police and security everybody rushed to the spot uh, people agencies then later came back saying that there would be some kind of involvement of lashkar e taiba because they are an organization which have been testing this particular technology and also pakistan pakistan's involvement definitely would be there because in on several accounts on several bases we have also seen that in pakistan occupied kashmir pakistan has been delivering ammunition and weapons with the help of drones to all the terrorist groups so this is some activity that already indian government has been noticing for a very long time now immediately after this attack happened in in a span of two two or three days there were simultaneous arrests which happened one of the arrests is very interesting to see there was a silent simultaneous arrest of an operative of the trf which is the the resistance front which is an organization which is affiliate of a uh, affiliate of lashkar e taiba so this particular person who was caught this particular person who was arrested he was uh, you know having ieds in place and he said that he was told to explore this particular IED. He was told to implant this particular IED in a crowded Hindu dominated area. So he was looking for a temple where there could be a certain amount of gathering and where he could employ or implant this particular IED. So definitely there is, you know, some uh, connection there and the agencies, the investigation agencies are, you know, talking about all of that and they are trying to investigate this very deeply. After this particular attack happened, the MHA decided that this investigation has to be handed over to the NIA. So currently NIA is investigating this entire case and Jammu and Kashmir police is also helping them. So this is with respect to this particular incident. But the important point here is what should India do now? Right? The biggest thing that India can do is to learn from the best and who is the best in this particular area. It is the Israeli technology which is there. So India should definitely look at the technology which Israel is already, you know, using. They have used it multiple times with respect to Gaza and India should also be looking to, you know, procure that particular technology. India has Indian Navy, as I told you before, they have already ordered Israeli smash 2000 plus systems 
which are systems which can be mounted on assault rifles and which can help to you know target the drones better so people or personals on ground can target using these particular guns can target drones and they can take them down so this particular technology has already been you know uh, procured by indian navy but not by the army so india should look at this particular technology number 1 and also india should look at the technology which is called sparrow hawk systems which already have been bought by the us military special forces so india definitely should look at this particular technology and should see if this particular technology can help india to you know be better prepared for these kind of incidents these kind of attacks definitely are not new in 2019 we saw multiple terrorist attacks which happened in yemen which were carried out with the help of drones so definitely the terrorist organizations are well aware of this particular technology and they can come back using this even in a more lethal way so this time india was lucky that the amount of ied what the payload was not very much high next time if any organization wants to you know uh, do any kind of damage they can use this even in a better way so is india battle ready are we indigenously also ready are we doing something is drdo doing something let us talk about that yes definitely drdo is also working on an anti drone system which can bring down micro drones through either jamming of the command and control links or by damaging the drones through laser based directed energy weapon so drdo which is the apex uh, you know uh, organization of india which works on the research and development with respect to defense is definitely working on a particular system which can you know damage these drones it is said that the drdo developed system can detect and jam micro drones up to 3 kilometers and use laser to bring down the target up to 1 or 2.5 kilometers depending on the wattage of the laser weapon so they are going to use the laser technology to damage these drones which you know uh, can be a great initiative but definitely these things are only in the trial phases right now in december last year two technologies were demonstrated by the drdo to our defense minister mr rajnath singh so already there have been some demonstrations but not a full proof solution yet in january this year the national security guards the nsg has awarded close to around 140 150 lakh worth of contract 150 lakh worth of contract to the bangalore based accord software and system there is a company for procuring an indigenous counter drone technology system so definitely the indian organizations are also parallelly working on some kind of technology but we might be you know this can be uh, this particular incident has caught us red handed and we are not prepared as of today so do we need to spend this much time should be keep waiting for drdo to you know uh, work on an indigenous technology or in critical area should we employ technologies which have already proven very effective like if we are talking about israel's technology should we go ahead and procure that or should india wait and wait for drdo to complete its research and provide an indigenous system this is a decision that the indian government or the indian defense agencies have to make this is going to be very 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 important as per the national counter rogue drone guidelines in 2019 the counter drone infrastructure needs to adopt diversified defensive strategies right so there has to be some kind of you know work on prevention deterrence denial detection interruption and then finally destruction so however whatever we are talking about it is very very much important that the country's system or the indigenous system or any system is able to detect a particular drone earlier early as early as possible and to identify whether this is a friendly drone or an enemy drone and if he finds out if that system finds out that this particular drone is an enemy drone that effectively to neutralize is very important so definitely a lot is being you know has been going on with respect to drones but this particular incident has brought out this entire technology in light again so i hope you were able to gain some knowledge with the help of this video for more such videos please subscribe to our channel i will catch you next week with a new uh, video on this internal security topic till then take care bye bye thank you very much